The PS3, like any other modded console or a handheld, is subject to get banned at any time and for any reason. And while there isn't a 100% fail-safe way on any modded system to not get banned, there are steps that you can take to prolong that eventual ban, and in some cases, maybe prolong it for a very long time. And here today, I'll be showing you one of those methods. I'll also be going over the correct process on how to sign in to the PSN network and giving you some tips and hints along the way. So let's go ahead and fire up that intro so we can get started. All right, guys. Hey, welcome to the video. And here today, I'm going to show you how to delete your CFW Cisco files and how to wipe your history. Uh, this really can be done for people who are on hen and for those of you who are on custom firmware, it's really the same process. But primarily, I'm showing this to the people who are on hen because last week when I did the video uh, showing you how to spoof, you know, after Sony pushed the new update, I was shocked at how many people uh, commented in that second video. Um, how do you? <laughs> Uh, wipe the history and disable the CFW Siskels um, I, because I did it on hen and I just assume everybody knew how to do that so I didn't cover it um, but I, yeah it was asked a ton of time so I'm going to go ahead and cover with you not only how to do it but I'm going to cover the proper steps and the procedures to signing in to PSN and this doesn't matter whether you're on custom firmware or hen this is how you should be doing it i'm doing it on my fully jailbroken ps3 but it is the exact same process for hen i did it in that video um, it's the same exact thing all right and right off the bat you need to know three things number one your auto sign in box should never ever ever be checkmarked the save password box can you can save that but the automatically sign in box that should never be checkmarked under any circumstances whether you're in hen whether you're custom firmware it doesn't matter this box should never be checkmarked the other thing is that what we'll be using today is the webman method so obviously you need to have webman mod installed it doesn't matter what version doesn't matter whether you're on hen or custom firmware because it'll work either way the same the other thing you need to know is that once you've signed into psn never ever under any circumstances um use a homebrew while you are signed in so while you are signed in don't ever launch multi-man or ever use any other homebrew of any kind. All right, so for those of us who are on custom firmware, we already have the Webman Games folder up all the time, uh, or the tab or whatever you wanna call it. If you're in Hen, you wanna go ahead and run Hen, make sure that Webman gets activated and you have your Webman Games uh, folder or tab here, whatever, uh, visible, okay? And you should be able to get into it. At this point, you can do whatever you want to do on the XMB, take care of whatever stuff you need to take care of, go into multi-man, you can load up the game, just don't launch it, do whatever it is you need to do. Now, once you're done doing all of that, if you are going to play online, then make sure that your game is loaded, which we're gonna do right now. Okay, let me go ahead and load my uh, modded version of GTA here, okay. And uh, once your game is loaded and you're ready, what you're going to want to do is hold R2 down. And while you're holding it down, press and hold the triangle button. So you, I always start with the R2 first, and then I press and hold the triangle. I continue holding both of those buttons down for like one to five seconds. The PlayStation will beep. When it does, it will confirm that your history has been wiped and the syscalls have been uh, deleted. And you'll get that confirmation up in the right-hand corner. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm holding down R2, then I'm holding down triangle, and there we go. It only took a second. We get the confirmation up in the right-hand corner. 
and that's it we're good to go now at this point we're going to sign in to our PSN and that's it there we go at this point we can go ahead and then launch the game for those of you who are on custom firmware you always want to launch the game from the game disk icon right here uh, you never want to launch the game from the app home ps3 game see it's there also and technically you can launch it from there but you don't want to always launch it from the uh, disk icon those of you who are on hen i don't think you have this option available so um and that's it and then play the game when you are done come back to the xmb reboot your ps3 do a full reboot and then everything will be back to normal if you come back to the xmb and you try and run some of the other homebrews remember you're still signed into psn even if you were to sign out some of the homebrews may not work on custom firmware many of them may not work because you disabled the syscalls so uh yeah they won't work it might be the same thing for hen but just as a precautionary measure just do a reboot anyway and begin the process all over again if you were just going to not play a game and you just were signing in because you just want to go like to the pn send store or you're signing in to netflix or whatever you need to do the same process do whatever you're going to do on the xmb then hold down the r2 and the triangle buttons make sure everything gets wiped and then go ahead and sign in and then go into netflix or whatever uh, third party app you're going to use so that's pretty much it it's pretty much the same steps for everybody thanks for watching the video guys you know i appreciate you all if this helped you out in any way if you know you uh, got some useful bits of information from it or if you just want to show the channel some appreciation or some love the best way you can do that of course is just to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already much love to all of you it's a crazy world out there guys please be careful take care and we'll see you on the next one